All right, good morning, YouTube. Good morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning. We're back out. <clears throat> um, I came out to Lake Providence. This is like one of my main spots here. Uh, my mother-in-law is in town. She's from New Orleans. And she actually... I did feel a thing. Okay. She actually wanted me to catch her some um, brims. She, she wanted me to catch her some crappie as well. But you got to know, them things are hard to catch in the summer. I don't have the electronics for them. I can go out and fish deep. I get some minnows, but my bait shops where I live, they open up at 8, 9 o'clock. And I'm trying to be on the water before then, before it gets too hot. So I told them to stick with the, with, the, with the brims. I came out here because they're bigger. I'm going to try to find some big ones again. And hopefully she can take her son back to New Orleans. So this day is going to be for her. Um, you guys, hope you guys are having a blessed Sunday. We're about to get this party going. So let's start fishing in one, two, three. We in um, this little pond deep, 26 foot of water. I think the deepest part is almost 30 feet. Yeah, I'm on the bottom. Cause it's, it's a drop off, so you can go over there. You'll be on like, you'll be probably in like. Uh, I'll show you guys here. So, you see that's 20 foot, right? And you can go over just just maybe six foot here, and 19 foot, 20 foot, and it's gonna. You will see. Let me reel my rod up. Okay, it's up. So 16 foot, 15 foot, 14, instantly. You see that drop? 13, 12, 11. So you see them? So you can go from just eight yards over from eight foot to 20 foot instantly. Instantly. That's a serious drop off. You can see it right here on my graph starting to drop big time. And uh, that's where they be at. If they here, that's where they be. If they are here, that's exactly where they be. Right off that drop off. Come on the bottom. Here we go. First one. I don't think it's a big one. No, that's a good one. Ooh, boy, shoot. Shoot, man, you guys see that? <laughs> Y'all see that? <laughs> Y'all see that? Yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm finna catch us some. Oh yeah, that's a that's a. Well, I like I like when I gotta open my hands up. I like when I gotta open my hands up. I'm finna act a fool right here in this area. Cause I don't found them, you guys. So I'm in 20, 20 foot of water, and I'm casting up to about I don't know, eight foot, ten foot, and I'm letting it. I'm just letting it um sit there. And then I'm dragging it once I get to the bottom. Got me one good one too. There we go. Big old gear. Big old gear. These are the kind you guys like to see, right? <laughs> yes, indeed. These are the kind you guys like to see. Instead of them little bit of ones I've been catching lately. Dropped down in that 15 foot of water there. And he hit that joke like a freight train. These are the ones you guys like to see. Big hand side. Got them joker flared out. He ready for war. He met the slab master. He met... Mr. Slab, huh? He going to the house. He gonna meet the grease. Yep, he get to meet the grease today. There you go, hand side. So basically I was down in 15 foot, I'm in 17 foot now, 
you guys I drift over a little bit but I think I hang around this little spot here good one um uh, i think it's a good one i ain't gonna keep it though but most people would keep it but i ain't gonna keep it not out here not out here <clears throat> so this pole here i'm gonna bring up let's sit this up oh yeah something hit that <laughs> probably bluegill Nice little tug, there you go. I ain't gonna lie to you. That was a nice little tug. <coughs> That's okay. I'm gonna take the uh there we go. You came back and got it. That's a good one. That's a good one. See that pole bend it? See that big dope coming up? You see it? Yep. Yeah, yeah. oh, that's a pole. Look at that pole, you got. Look at that pole. That's a pole bender right there. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Look at that. I take those all day, and they get way bigger than this in here. They get way bigger than this, but this is all day for me. All day. Right here. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's a keeper. That is a keeper. They just put a little different. I'm keep them keeps. That going home. That going home, you guys. I can bring this up here. We ain't got to turn it around. There we go. See if we can get some fish for mother in law. I mean, that's where them beds was at that I was looking at. There we go. I got something. Slow rip dragging. <laughs> got something dragging. I ain't gonna keep it though. Trolling. Calm down. Not in this shallow water anymore, you got. Them days are over with. You gotta work now. So I'm gonna have to go to some deep water. Okay, I got a good one right here. Okay. I'll take take that one home. I'm gonna get to go. I think I'm, I'm catching all the same kind. The female. Oh, I got something nice. I like catfish. I got a 
catfish. And I'm talking about a good one. I need to come up here in a minute. Where my, where my net at? Where my net at? Yep, I knew it was a catfish. I know. I know. Got that joker right off of that, uh, right off of that, uh, letting it fall. He's going home, too. That's a good one. That's the kind you, that's the kind you want to take home right there. That's the kind that you want to take home. Hand-sized kind. A couple pounds, a pound or two. Up to three pounds, shh, man, that's the right side right there. That's the right side. I'm gonna toss right back out there, let that worm fall. And uh, see if I can give me a couple more. Pretty, pretty cat fish. Okay. I went down and got me one quick. Look at that little thing there. Looks just like a, a warmouth. The a gargala. Or a green fish. Who knows? Yeah, how it looks like. Huh. I got hung up. I got hung up on that concrete. I knew it, because I'm in five foot of water. I went the wrong way. It might come loose though. Maybe. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a good bluegill right here. They hit that jig. That's a good bluegill right there. They hit that jig. Man, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hit the jig then. I'll take whatever. Whatever. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice one. This is what I'm looking for right here. That's what I've been looking for. That's what I've been looking for, you guys. And bigger. And bigger. That's what I've been looking for. Let me get right back out there. Maybe I don't maybe I don't found something. Maybe. Hmm. Went down and got me another good one. Another good one. It's a pretty one. Green fish. Maybe they come out to eat later then. Starting to get a mess in there, you guys. Starting to get a mess. Got me one. Way out there, trolling. Good one too. Got me a good one too. Got him skipping the water, you guys. Look at that. Got a, got a decent one. Way out there, just dragging the ground, dragging the bottom.
to go. Got something you got. I knew I had something. Probably a catfish or a sand bass. Or a bass maybe. It's big. I think this is a I think this is a sand bass. Let him run until he gets tired. And once he gets tired, he'll come up and reveal itself. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking sand bass or catfish. And a good one too. Big old catfish. I gotta just let him fight. I can't, I can't uh, manhandle him with this cheap test line. Big old bass. I'm talking about a big one. Probably about a... Probably about a... Probably, that joke is trying their best to get off of here. That's probably about a four pound bass. Oh, what's going on with my net here? There we go. Got him. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. Man, that's a nice bass. That is a nice bass right there. Man, look at that. <laughs> On a little casting out a little worm. As you guys can see, casting, this is what he hit. Barely had a hook. That's what he hit right there. That little piece of worm. I thought I had a catfish or something, but I didn't know I had a bass. Look at look at this joker. You guys. Man, that is a nice. That is a nice bass. I got my scale. I think I do. I say about three, four pounds. I don't know. You're gonna flop and, and act crazy here. Three, four, four. So three, four, four. You guys, if y'all can see that. Not bad. That, my friends, is not a bad bass. You get a picture with it. There you go. Can't really get it in, but you guys can see. Pretty little old bass. And uh, that's a good surprise right there. I get to go back. Gone. All right, guys, that was a nice surprise. A bass hit that little worm, piece of worm. I'm going to fish for about 15 more minutes, and I'm going to call it a day. So I hope you guys are still liking the video, enjoying. One catfish, one bass, and a lot of gill. So it's a pretty good day for a Sunday. Have any luck? Bluegill, them big bluegill? Yeah.
we go. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. I came out a little bit deeper, you guys. And that was a nice, nice old gill. Yeah. It start, I'm starting to catch them now. It's starting to add up. You can look in there. I'm starting to get a mess. Came out the 15 foot of water. And that did it right there. Let me drop straight down. I ain't even cast. I'm just dropping down. And then just let the boat move me around. Because I feel a tub. I'm on the bottom. Look at that. Went right down there and got one. Good one, too. Well, okay. No, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Let me keep going to the house. This might be the spot right here. That's two in a row. Okay, I cast over there and got that joke. And that's a little bigger. Yeah, I'll take this one. I'll take them all day. Oh, he swallowed it. It's okay. That's the only thing about them number six. He will swallow the hook. That's why that hook every time if you, if you, don't, you don't set the hook fast enough. Bottom. I think it's on the bottom now. I'm just going to drag it back. There we go. Way light hero. <laughs> Way light hero, you guys, in deep water, bringing it to me. That's a good one too. Yep, we got to make it work. We got to make these work right here. If this all I want to bite. If this all I want to bite, we just have to make it work. So where I'm at, 25 foot of water. If you guys can see, 25 foot of water. I'm casting up to probably about Maybe 20 foot. Letting it hit that bottom. Once it hit the bottom, I just start dragging it. You got me one just, this is not that big one too, you guys. Look at that big old joker, you guys. Decent. Just sitting out there trolling. Well, I'm trying to get these, well, I'm trying to see if I can find some crappies. Okay. So they for sure out in deep water. They are for sure out in deep water. Sixteen foot. So I'm gonna go back here with some calm water at and see if I can give me anything before I head home. Let you see what I got so far. There you go, a mess of them. Still got the colors. That that ice pack I got doing the job. Cooler cool. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. So 
So I'm at 18 foot of water. I'm thinking something might be back here in this deep water back here. Maybe. It's calm back here. It's where you think they would be at. Okay, I'm on the bottom. A lot of grass. Or do I got some? No. I got some, yeah. I'm like, do I got some? There's a lot of grass. Something good, too. I believe it's something good. Yeah. Shoot. When I done got me a money maker. When I done got me something nice. Fish in the bottom, 18 foot of water. I thought I had grass. I could have, but uh, I felt that pull. So I'm not really catching anything decent up close. Everything is in deep water. Everything that I'm catching is in, in, some, in some good good depth, you know. Especially everything that's decent. That was a good one. I'll take that all day. Okay. So, so back here is like, all this area is like 15 to 17 foot. You go out a little bit further, you, know, you just start dropping. You kind of turn this, turn this way, like stretch my knees out. Jeez. Right there, that felt good. My knee felt good on that one. So let this, let that. Uh, it should be going to the bottom. Okay, I'm on the bottom. I think. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is slowly bring it back and see if anything will take. 19 for the water. I'll show you how hard it is to catch red ear. They ain't caught one. There we, ooh, that was a nice pull, you guys. I'm talking about a nice pull. I can just stop right here and just let it sit. And let them hook they sail. Like that. What the? You saw that pole bend? You saw that pole, Ben? I think I think the big one's out here. I'm finna drop straight down. I'm just casting right now. I'm on that bottle. I'm just casting right now. I think them big fish is right out here. There we go. You see that? I let him hook itself. Got a little man here. Got a little man here. See that pretty, you see how pretty they are when they come up? But they some big ones right here. I don't found them. You see that, mom? You see that? You see that? Come on. I don't found them jokes. It's calm water, right back in the calm water. Yep, I figured they'd be back here. Now I might end up getting a couple of uh red ears back here because they ooh man, I'm finna catch my mother. See, my mother-in-law wanted some, so I want to catch enough for the house tonight. But also, to put her a bag of uh, fillets, or, you know, just a regular whole bluegill in the arm, um, so she can take back. So, what I'm going to do now, you guys, actually, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to actually drop straight down. I want to see something. I can start back casting, but I just want to see something. I'm at 18 foot of water. I want to see if... If, if I can get down there and get get some red ears, if possible, maybe not, but get out on that bottom. Okay, I'm on the bottom. Thanks. Yeah. Am I? Yeah, I'm on the bottom. 
Not my cast though. I'm getting a bite. Here we go. He said the hook is still. He said the hook is still. Yep, a little bit of one though. I'll get it. That thing beeping like crazy. Let me cast over. I kind of like this little area here. This is my favorite little area. Let it drop down. Let it get to the bottom. And once it get to the bottom, on the bottom, then just bring it back to me real slow. Stay hitting it right now. There we go. That's a little pip, pip squeak. That's a little tater tot. I might have went too, too shallow. Let me get back in. Let me get in the deep water. I might went to about the. There we go. So right there, probably about 15 feet. Up there where I was there, was probably about eight. Even though they'll be down there too. Some jokers everywhere. Okay. Now, slowly. Let us see it. Like, oh yeah, about that man. I'm talking about they are. They 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 it's a good one too. They um uh, they quiet. Ooh man. Oh this these this that's these big ones right here, boy. You guys, I don't found them. She swallowed the hook. I don't found them. It's okay. That's why you got these. That's exactly. There you go. Pretty one. Let's get back over there. This thing is beeping like crazy. Now, you, you, you true bluegillers, brim, brim fishermen. Now I'm having problems catching red ears in the summertime and. The spawn is over with. Let me know where do I find the red ears, okay? Let me know, uh, cause I want to continue catching some. There we go. There we go. I'm catching some monsters right here. I'm catching some nice ones right here, you guys. I'm not even finna sit here and lie to you. That joker doing a that joker doing a death row. Oh, that's why. Should probably a bass to come up here. Oh, he just I got him on. I got him in the mouth. Just kind of tang it up. Just kind of tang it up there. You get to go back. You too little. Go back and get big for me. Let me get back over here. So you see that feeder? See that feeder? I'm right between it. I'm in um, 18 foot of water. Let it drop. I'm casting up to probably about 10 foot. Let it drop to the bottom. And once it get to that bottom, once I see that line drop, it's on the bottom. Then I just slowly reel it back till I feel a tap. Or it'll set, it'll set the hook is on sale. Like, right. Nice gills. I'm putting out right here. I'm telling you, these are some nice gills that I'm putting out. Oh, I'm just, I just had that in my hand and something came and hit it. Mmm. Look at that pretty joke. Look how pretty they are when they come up. Man, pretty. Pretty. Keeper. Keeper. There we go. All right. All right, all right. 
Let's see what we got here. Let's set that drop to the bottom. Let's give it that bottom. This should I should get a bite real fast. Let's give it that bottom. There we go. I felt that. Got it all. He for sure got that off. Hey then. Hey then. I got I got split shots out on the bottom, right by the hook. Don't even care. Fish bite. We go. Ooh, that was a good one. Man, that was a good one. Let me put some clean worm on here. I clean this up a little bit too. There we go. There we go. I got about like six more worms that I'm trying to get get rid of, and I'm heading home. I got enough fish for the day. I got I got plenty. All right, so let me see. So now I'm gonna to toss over here by this feeder. Let it drop about eight foot over there. Let it get down to that bottom. Slowly reel it back once you get to that bottom. You gotta let it get to that bottom. There we go. Once you get to that bottom, You'll get bites. I shouldn't have reeled it. I had got a bite. There we go. No. Oh. Come on here, big boy. Come on in here, big boy. Big boy. Ooh. Watch some fin. There you go. Come on in here, big boy. Getting that money, I hear you guys. All right, now we're throwing this way earlier. Now I'm throwing over this way by the feeder. Right next to it, let it drop to that bottom. Once it hit that bottom. Okay, I'm on the, um, I'm on the bottom. Something might got it. Nah. Uh, this might, this boy, it might be deep over there. I'm on the bottom. And just slowly, slowly, really back. So you feel like the thump. Okay, I'm a little, I'm, I'm far out now. I might be too far out. About three more fish and I can call it a day. Yep, about three more I can call it a day. There we go. I guess I'm just, I ain't the slab master no more, I'm the brim master. <laughs> I ain't caught no, no croppers in, in a while. Yeah, the slip bobber and maybe by like, uh, set it for, you know, a couple feet, couple, like 20 feet, set it for 18 to 15 feet. Man, you'll be right on top of that grass then. And uh, they'll come up and get it, but sometimes they'll be down in there. So dragging it is pretty good too. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring it back. I'm way like her too. Probably too far out. I'm trying to. I got a bite just there. There we go. It's a good one too. Shh. 
shoot, this is a good one. This might just be a big gill or a red ear. Let me see. Big old gill. Big old gill. <whistles> Look at that, you guys. Yes, indeed. Hand size. Hand size in deep, deep water. 20 foot. 20 foot. What I mean now, I'm at 21. I didn't. I just let it. I felt it, but I just let it sit there. So that could be the key, like a drop shot. I felt it when it got down, and I just, I didn't even really. I just moved. I just let it hook, uh, hook itself. So that could be the key. Maybe come out here and drop shot. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Is it coming toward me? It might be something on there. There we go. See how the line keeps slacking? Nah. Maybe the boat, the boat probably moving. All right, so I'm just gonna let it hit that bottom. And uh, got a little bit deeper water. Make it to that bottom. Ooh, look, you see, look at boy, I'm talking about, well, that's a small one, but that joker hit that while we're falling. Nah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a good one, you guys. He hit it while we're falling. They're, they're swallowing the hook, too. They are swallowing that hook big time. So they're hungry. It wasn't even on the bottom. The line was still dropping. So I'm in 20 foot of water and I'm probably dropping down about 15 foot and bring it and just letting it come back. So man, geez. So I'm really so I'm gonna let it drop down. And it might take it might just take it. It's, it's still dropping. So it's deep out there. Still dropping. Okay, it's on the bottom. And let's see. There we go. He bumped it. There we go. So he just shot they just barely move. They twist the tip of that rod. And you just lean back. Ooh. <laughs> Look at these monsters, man. <laughs> nice. Nice. I mean, they're not a pound, but they're, they're good. It's a copper nose, too. Copperhead, or copper nose, whatever they call it. You see that little copper right there? Yeah, that one's a pretty one. I've been wanting to catch that one, too, today. These get massive. These and the um, the green fish out here in these, they big. And and the male bluegills, Lord have mercy, they, they they big out here. The shell crackers are decent, but I be watching YouTube, I man. I be watching them guys catching one pound and two pound shell crackers. So a little half pound, I be catching. Don't really get me. I mean, I like catching them because it's cool. I never caught them before, but don't get me crazy excited because I know how big they get. All right, so 20 foot of water. And we're going to cast right back out. Let it drop. Drop down 20 foot. It take a while to get there too, you guys. Hang on. So I just leave my bail open here and let it drop. Okay, it's on the bottom. Okay, and then now, just slowly, slowly bring it back. There we go. Ooh, he set the hook. It's, he had that pole bent. He'll come, they'll come back and get it. Maybe. There we go. See what I'm saying? Come back and get it. These jokers, a uh, good one. Hey, another good one. Look, watch this. Another good one. 
Oh, pole bender. Look at that pole. Pole bender. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. Where you go? I think about the video so far. I'm putting them in, or I mean, is the quality okay? The fish quality? I know they get bigger, but you gotta let me know if these are okay fish to, to you guys. Okay, once you get to that bottom, on the bottom. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna let it sit there and see if it's gonna tighten up on itself on its own. Look at that. You see that? I started reeling and he hit that joke. They pretty. They pretty. He keeper. They keeper. Look here, look here, people. Look at that. Bucket almost full. So I should have plenty of fish to get to my my mother-in-law. I do this once a year for, so. We'll see what happens. nothing brag about right here my bell was open made me made me think I had a monster let me see what's out here then 20 foot let's see been throwing over that way I throw out here let's get to that bottom it's dropping boy it's choking deep out here I'll get there soon. Okay, I'm on the bottom. On the bottom. I need to clean my reel up. And then just tighten it up a little bit. And see if it'll tighten up on its own. Now it could be too far out now. Because they don't want to be out in the open water that thing beeping like crazy okay I'm gonna head on to the to, to uh I could catch fish right there all day long if I stay fill up two or three coolers if you stay okay so I fished that little area. Now I'm going to toss over here as I go back to the truck. I fished all that little open, little area between them feeders. Now I'm gonna fish to the right of this feeder and as I make my way back to the truck, you guys, just to see if I can pick up something decent. And this is good, this is good. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just finding spots. I've been fishing the old same old spot, so this is this is good, good, uh, good footage right here. This is a good fishing session. Now, it's somewhere out here where you got a mother load of red ears hanging together. But they're hard to find. They're hard to find. 
No bite. And let it drop down. There we go. Got something. It ain't about nothing, probably. Unless he coming to me, he's gonna grow up when he get to me. Yeah, he ain't about nothing. I thought he was gonna become a man, but he didn't. Him on the bottom. That deep right there one at. Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Maybe. Man, I'm catching bluegill way out here. I think this might be a good one. At least a keeper. Yeah. Shoot. That's the big fish of the day. That's the big fish of the day right there. Big fish of the day. Man. Swallow that hook. So they all around this, they all around this, this uh pond or lake. This small lake. Y'all almost got me. Y'all almost got me. I hate to walk that hook good. A couple more casts and we out of here. And I still got a, quite a few worms there. But I'm, I ain't going to be able to finish them all though. See that's why, I, that's why I put a lot of worm on here. It's not, I mean yeah you can put a little piece and still catch them. Yeah you can do that. You can for sure do that. But I'm trying to use all these things up, but you gotta take them to the house. I know I'm gonna fish on the weekends only. So they ain't no use of them be used to them been sitting around the house. I'm almost there. I'm almost done. I floated a long way off. Like it ain't nothing. Move this little boat. Close that trolling motor. Twenty-one foot of water. Let's get. Let's get back. I was over that way. Let's get back over there. I went, I went too close up though. I probably was actually probably right here. Let's see. If I was probably right here. Let's see. 
get it on. There you go. Go on the bottom and just bring it back real slow. I might have been. I might was a little bit closer. There we go. Nah, I can stay right here. He fish out in this deep water. And that's a good one, you guys. Got him on top of the water, skiing across. 20 foot of water. 20 foot of water, pulling them in. 20 foot of water, you guys. Man, I ain't nowhere close to the land. I ain't nowhere close to the land. There we go. Let's see what happens. Let it get on that bottom. Should be on the bottom. Okay. And just bring it on back and see. Here we go, you guys. There we go. Well, they stay in deep water. They in deep, deep water. I'll let him make it. I'll let him make it. Just because I'm pretty much maxed out where I want to be. Ooh, that was a good bite. Ooh, I had a good bite just then. He let it go. There we go. Came back and got it. I'm, I'm just, and the only thing I'm doing is getting down about 20 feet, 18, 20 feet, and I'm just dragging the bottom. I'm just dragging the bottom. I don't want that one. Barely moving it. Barely moving it. So we in uh, 21 foot of water. All right, I'm about to call it a day. It's about 11:15. I'm done. So I had a great day. The fish picked up about nine o'clock, uh, and it just it just was it was it was fire. So the first couple of hours it was real dead, and then um, I started finding some. So I got some decent to catch up today. Pretty much halfway full of bluegills. So I still got quite a few worms left and uh we're gonna cook some of those tonight but most of them i'm, I'm gonna clean up and bag up and freeze and, and let my uh mother-in-law take back to arkansas but it all back to new orleans but as always uh thanks for watching as always uh if you haven't subscribed you like to subscribe please subscribe and uh you know thanks for commenting sharing if you like to share likes all that good stuff you guys have a blessed sunday stay safe stay hydrated and we'll start back next weekend or doing it again all right peace